Hey guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the airbag module out of this 2019 Jeep Cherokee. The tools I'm using for the 2019 Jeep Cherokee is this flat, large flathead. You might need a flashlight to get into tight, some tight spaces. The electric drill. I have two sockets here, one large and one small one for a really tight space when you get down to the module. These are both 10 millimeters. I'm just using an extended one as well. I went ahead and moved back the power seat. The driver's seat is powered. So I went ahead and moved that back first because I'm about to disconnect the battery. First thing you want to do is always disconnect the battery. And there you go. The battery is located right over here. We have our positive side here and our negative side here. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and just get that right up. I've already loosened it up, but I'll show you here. Just going to move that right out, loosen it up. Same thing with the positive side right here. And then again, I've already loosened these up. Once you have these loosened, go ahead and remove it like this. Make sure you put it back far enough where it won't slip back into place. And same with the negative. Now let's go inside. The airbag module is located right behind this paneling. It's under the radio all the way on the floor. And I've had time to check it out already. And I'm gonna show you what I did. I went ahead and removed this, these side panels here, plastic panels. They're held on pretty easily just by a few plastic tabs. And I'll show you, they, they come off just as easily as that. And then you slide it back. And this first piece is out. If you come in and take a look, I'm gonna pop the rest of this off, this paneling. The airbag module is located right, it's kind of hard to see, but if you get in there a little more, you'll see the airbag module is that black plastic box right there. There it is. And it's held down by three bolts right there. You need a 10 millimeter for those. We'll get to that in a little bit. But before we take it out, we're gonna try to get some more extra room to try to work with the front as well. The plugs for the airbag module are right there. There are those yellow plugs that you can see there and you'll get a better look at them a little bit later. But there it is. Let's come up to the center console and I'll show you how to do it up here as well. Loosen all this up. Now if you come to the middle here with me, take a, your flat head and there's this panel here. You want to get in through the top, there's a little area you can gently pull up on it. And this plastic piece will come down. It's being held on by these plastic tabs here. So no worries if they pop right off. Now when they come off, you will notice two bolts right there. I'm using a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and remove those two. And the second one. The next step is to go ahead and start working on the center console here. You're going to be very careful but I'm going to take my flathead and first I'm going to actually work it with my hands here. Just hear a little pop. That just pops it from the bottom there. Once the front is up like that, you can go ahead and take it up. You may need to use a flathead to get in between there as well. Just be very careful with it. The next step is to go ahead and lift this up. You don't need to lift it up all the way out just a little bit, just so we can see the shift release for this, the shift lock release for this knob here. 
And I'll show you if you come in a little closer from this angle. There's a little, come up a little higher, right there. There's a little lever right there. If you go ahead and push down on that, what will happen is this, uh, this shift will release. So that you can play around with it now, it's unlocked. Once I have it in, the, in this back position, I'm gonna go ahead and take this center console right up. I'm not gonna unplug anything or remove anything. I'm just going to keep it like so and just rotate it to this position so I can see what I'm doing right in here. So I can get some light uh, right in here and, and that way the side panels are a little bit more loose as well. Now let's go ahead and get the module right out and we're gonna work on that from the sides here from both the driver side and the passenger side. We're gonna need our 10 millimeter sockets. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars Plus, you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. I'm back down here at module level. The module is right there. We want to get to the front of it first so we can go ahead and disconnect the plugs from the front of the module. And before we get to the plugs of the module, we have these other plugs that are hanging out right here. I want them out of the way. I'm going to just pop this up right here. And after I'm done, I'm going to put it back right in that same hole. It's just a little tab. I'm going to work with my large screwdriver flathead. And there's a little tab right here. I'm gonna press down on right here. I'm gonna press down on that, pull on both sides, and that'll come apart. I'm gonna move them out of the way. Now there's another big one here. It's set up on a similar system as the other one where there's a little tab you press down on. And then this lever here It's also held down to the frame. That's off. Now I can show you better. There's a, a tab right here. You just press down on that. And as you press down on that, this will start coming up, this lever. Pull the lever all the way and it will just want to go ahead and disconnect just like so. Move these plugs right out of the way so you can clearly see the module. This is one of the module plugs and then the other plug is right there. Those wires that are bundled up, they're going to the yellow plug at the front of the airbag module. If I move this here for you, I'll show you. There they are. We're gonna go ahead and press down on this tab here. That lever will come up and this, this plug will come right out. Same thing with the other side. We're gonna press down on that tab. 
pull that lever over and that plug will come out. And at this time, I do have my car powered down. The, air, the battery is disconnected. There's no power going to the car. And that's really important before we remove the module. Let's go ahead and unplug it. And down here is where we have the front of the module. We have one screw, one bolt that's holding it down. It's on this front right side. We'll get to it from the passenger side seat. We just have to get this module from the back here. We'll get that screw out first. Let's do that. First nut is out. I'm using a 10 millimeter. You can use an extender or just a regular 10 millimeter socket. And the second nut is right back here. It's a little tight, but nothing you can't handle. Once I have it loosened, I'm gonna go ahead and just take the extender right in there and the deep socket and go ahead and just work it. There we have our second nut there. Third one is right up front. And if you take a little angle from up front here, I'm gonna use a much smaller socket, but also a 10 millimeter. And I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the front out, which is right here. one out here it is towards the end once it's loose I use this deep socket here to get in there just place it right on top in there and I spin it all the way out it comes out much faster than with just uh, moving your socket back and forth so one of these 10 millimeters definitely comes in really handy we're gonna take the module out from the other side it slips out better through the driver's side at this point your module will slide right out at this angle here, I'm gonna slide it right out. This is what the airbag module looks like for the 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It will also look very similar for 17, 18, and I'm gonna guess the 20 are gonna be quite similar to this as well. That's where the plugs went in. If you're looking for the par number, that's it right there, that Chrysler PN, and then that number right there is your par number. Now, if your car was in an accident and you're replacing airbags or seat belts or anything like that, what we can do is reset this module so you don't have to buy a new one. Dealerships might tell you to go ahead and buy a new one from them. We actually can reset these as well. We've been resetting these since 2006 and we reset the hard codes as well as the soft codes right off this module, making it good to use again. We have a warranty on it. Once we get it uh, shipped to us, we open it up, we get it processed, and reset, tested, and shipped back to you within 24 hours with our warranty. Uh, we also service the seatbelts as well. The seatbelts do also deploy during an accident. The seatbelts are installed right into the side panel here, and they also lock up or they deploy or they need to be replaced in order for the light to go out, all components of the airbag system have to be replaced and working. Now, this is not just a local service that we provide. Most of our customers do ship in from all over the United States. They send in a module for reset, and most of the time we do see a pair of seatbelts, driver and passenger side that have been deployed, that need to be replaced, or in this case, repaired. 
and resets. So you can definitely send in your module or your seatbelts or together into us for a reset. We send them back out within 24 hours. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.